satellites played an important part in turning the Cold War from being a dangerous crisis in which both sides were paranoid with uh, fear about a surprise attack by the enemy into a stable relationship. Before satellites, aerial surveillance was only possible in aeroplanes. But in May 1960, their vulnerability was dramatically exposed. An American U-2 spy plane, piloted by Gary Powers, was shot down over the Soviet Union. Three months later, the Americans launched Corona, the world's first spy satellite. Beyond the range of enemy missiles, Corona reassured the American military that it knew just what the Russians were up to. A year later, the Soviet Union countered with Zenit-1. A new era in Cold War espionage was born. That sense of paranoia, that sense of fear of what the other side was doing, that sense of the unknown, was suddenly removed and you moved to a scenario where you knew everything that the other side was doing, or almost everything. But spying was not the only area to benefit from satellite technology. Space promised the military much more. At the heart of the Cold War, the scenario involved firing hundreds of thousands of missiles over the North Pole. If you look at the surface of the globe, if you're firing an intercontinental ballistic missile, the shortest point between Moscow and Washington is over the top, not round the globe. The trouble with going over the North Pole is that the magnetic forces of the pole can play havoc with a compass, sending missiles horribly off course. So the American, the Russian military looked at trying to find a way to get round this and using satellite-based navigation was one way to do it. In 1978, the Americans launched their solution, the Global Positioning System, or GPS. At the heart of the GPS system are 24 satellites, each constantly broadcasting the time and data about their location. Back on Earth, a GPS receiver can pick up these broadcasts. By calculating the distance between it and at least four satellites, the receiver can work out its precise location to within a meter. By putting a GPS receiver in a nuclear warhead, missiles could be guided accurately over the North Pole. <laughs> 